when we think of Romanian football, the first team that would probably come to mind is Steaua Bucharest. The team from the Romanian capital is by far the biggest name in Romanian football around the world. In 1986, they even won the Europa Cup 1, the predecessor to the Champions League. But if we look at the Romanian league table now, there is no Steaua Bucharest to be found. The team that is now the bearer of the old name is FCSB. Why did this name change from Steaua Bucharest to FCSB? What is the story behind this? In this video, we'll quickly discuss the story of FCSB and Steaua Bucharest why the name changed and the controversy behind the name. There are some comparisons to be made between Steaua and uh, CSKA clubs, CSKA clubs from other former communist countries. Um, namely that CSKA is an abbreviation of Club of the Army and so is Steaua. And a Romanian language is a bit different from many of the other Slavic languages, but Romanian uh, culture and history is very similar to most of its neighbors. So Steaua Bucharest could be closely linked to clubs like CSKA Sofia and CSKA Moscow, for example, who are also the club of the army. The Romanian revolution led the country towards a free open market and subsequently several players of the 1980s team of Steaua that won the Champions League left to clubs in the West. After a short pullback, a quick recovery followed and Steaua managed a six consecutive championship streak between 1992 and 93 and 1997-98. So they won the championship many times in a row. At an international level, the club also managed to reach the UEFA Champions League group stages three times in a row between 1994-95 and 1996-97. In 1996-97, the football club separated from CSA Steaua, which is the army um, branch, and changed its name to FC Steaua Bucharesti. Being by Romanian businessman Vlorel Paunescu. Paunescu performed poorly as a president, and soon the club was plunged into debt. George Becali, another businessman, was offered the position of vice president in the hope that Bacali would invest money in the club. In 2003, Bacali allegedly managed to gain control over the club by turning it from non-profit to a public share company. During the period between 2000 and 2010, under Bacali's leadership, Stjava performed exceptionally well, being the best name in Romanian football and qualifying for European stages frequently. In 2013, Steaua won its 24th national title and also subsequently reached the 2013-14 UEFA Champions League group stage. It repeated the former performance in each of the next two years, being awarded the championship in 2014 and 2015. After the Ministry of National Defense sued the club, claiming that the Romanian army were the rightful owners of the Steaua logo, colors, honors and name. The executive committee of the Romanian Football Federation approved an application to modify the name of the club from FC Steaua Bucharest to FC FCSB. On March, in March 2017, following more judiciary sentences, CSA Steaua Bucharest had previously announced they would refound their football department in the summer of the same year. However, Owner Bacali announced that his team would retain the honors of the original UEFA coefficient and was also hopeful of recovering the name in the near future. Between 2016 and 2019, FCSB finished each time as runners-up in the league, thus becoming the first club in Romanian football to do so for four consecutive years. On July 2019, yet another unfavorable ruling was handed out against the team. According to it, CSA Steaua would be the rightful entity to assert the honors up until 2003. However, the decision is not definitive. So who are this CSA Steaua that I just mentioned? Well, here comes the dispute. The name changed of FCSB uh, led to many supporters being unhappy with the change that happened and being angry with the management of the club. 
Therefore, a new club was founded and this CSA Stoa started in the lower levels of Romanian football. But many of the old Stoa Bucharest fans remained loyal to this club and still support this club to this day. They currently play in the lower levels of Romanian football but are on their way back to the main time. They even built a new stadium in Bucharest which can hold around 20,000 people. So it is a good statement saying that they are on their way back. The new club still competes in the highest division and both claim to be the rightful owner of the old team. They both claim the successes of the old club and they both claim to be founded 73 years ago in 1947. So this dispute will continue for a long time to come. And there is comparisons to be made with other examples in other countries. For example, in Bulgaria, there is the CSKA Sofia that folded and a new club founded CSKA 1948 after the year they were founded in. And both teams now compete on the highest level of Bulgarian football. The same thing is likely to happen in Romania as well with the same sort of army team. This dispute is an interesting one to follow for the future and hopefully um, it can be resolved fairly but in fairness this can lead to another big rivalry in the country. So in my personal opinion um, the, the dispute is a difficult one to, to fix because no one knows exactly how and what uh, will lead from this. But I think it would be a cool thing to see a team that is started by supporters and came from nothing to reach the big time. So it could be an interesting one to keep an eye on if you like this type of Romanian football dispute. So for now, only thing that rests us is to keep an eye on the Romanian leagues. And currently FCSB are leading in the Romanian championship going into the playoffs. So we'll see if they can finally manage to win a league title after six years of not winning it. And for Stiawa Bucharest, like the lower divisions are not really being played right now, but they could potentially get promoted if the court decides to do so um, with teams getting relegated and promoted due to uh, a fix in the current league standings because teams are not really playing games. But if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, please consider subscribing to my channel. And I would like to see you in the next one. Have a good day. Goodbye.